Good morning, Calvary. So glad to have you tuning in for your word for the day today. There's hundreds of you that watch these, either that you get them in your inbox, uh, in your email. We're glad to have you tuning in today. Some of you are watching on Facebook, and we're glad to have you here as well. Let us know if you're watching. Let us know how you enjoy it and share it with someone that you think could use some encouragement. As we jump into your word for the day today, I've got a question for you. Have you ever been questioned or you know, interrogated on your credentials, your education, your experience, or why you were in the place that you were? I've had this happen to me several times, but in nearly every situation, I was in a little over my head and they should have been questioning it. Maybe I was in a situation beyond what I had the experience or education for, or I was in a physical location that I may not have had the approval, access, or credentials to be in, and we won't get into why that was. But there's been a few times where legitimate experience, education, or permission to be somewhere was called into question. I had the right to be there, had the right to be speaking into it, and yet that was questioned. That's exactly where Jesus finds himself in the book of Mark. I've been going through the, the book of Mark now for several weeks, and we're going to pick up in Mark chapter 11. In verse 27, it says this, And they came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him. And they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things, or who gave you this authority to do them? Do you love that question? Like, who gives you the right is what they're asking. Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? Answer me. And they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, then he will say, Then why don't you believe him? But if we say from man, well, they were afraid of the people, for they all held that John was really a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, then neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. See, here we get a glimpse into this just long lasting undertone of the questioning of Jesus' authority by the religious leaders. See, they watched and saw that he was teaching with authority, that he was acting and leading with authority, not just the positional authority that he had a title and a name tag there in the temple, but he taught, he led, he healed, and he acted like he had actual authority, because he did. He taught as if he was the ultimate authority, because he was. He healed and forgave people like he was the one who could forgive sins and heal disease, because he could. And, the, and here they try to back Jesus into a corner of this argument, and Jesus turns the table and answers their question with a question, and asks them to state the authority that John the Baptist had. They didn't really like John the Baptist either, so it put them in a weird spot. Now, we aren't getting into semantic arguments with Jesus here in the temple in the year 2020. So how does this apply to our life today? Well, it's simple. It shows us that Jesus is the ultimate authority in our life. We can read self-help books, we can watch training videos, we can talk to friends, we could go to conferences when those start happening again in large groups. We could talk to family members and coworkers at the water cooler about our life problems. But Jesus is the ultimate authority. Jesus is the ultimate leader. And Jesus is the one that makes the final call on everything in our life, on the direction and our plans, on what is right and wrong, on what character and life choices we make. It all has its final say in Jesus. So my question for you is today, are you living that way? Are you living and operating like Jesus is the ultimate authority in your life? Are you submitting to Jesus and letting him lead and direct your life? Or are you trying to be the boss? Because frankly, if we're trying to be the boss of our life, we are all in a little over our pay grade in education. So today, I hope that you submit to and follow Jesus as the authority in your life and see him work in amazing ways through that step of faith. Thanks for watching Calvary. We'll see you next time.